I uh, primarily write the animation system, um, work on the tools exporting of it, the animations, and other various little engine tweaks now and again. The main advantage with going with a skeletal animation system is primarily memory savings. If you were to store all the vertices and all of the different frames of animation, you'd end up eating like half a megabyte of memory and only have a few seconds worth of animation. But if you store all the bone information, just how all the bones twist and stretch, it ends up being a couple hundred bytes per frame. That, that way we can get 30, 40 seconds worth of animation per monster in a couple hundred K, which is a major memory savings. One interesting side effect is that the bones and the skin on top of them are completely disconnected. So I can take the same animation, the same motion, as you see with the bones, and put a different skin on top of it. Change the heads, change the textures, change out any body part, put a gun on the hand. When the monster plays their animation, the gun automatically moves as the hand did because we store all of the fundamental animation of the character, which is the bones. A big goal was making it so that the animators would get exactly what they saw in 3D Studio in the game with as little loss as possible. In fact, there isn't any loss. We use all of the normal 3D Studio techniques of smoothing groups and blending and so on and so forth. Those all export, save them to a file, they go into the game and they play back unmodified, which greatly simplifies their task. Steve's AI system is just, at times, unbelievable. Um, I walk into a room with three or four monsters in there who don't have weapons more powerful than me, but they outflank me and I die. And it's just like, that's finally refreshing of, of not going into a game and completely devastating all their monsters who just act like, you know, ducks in a shooting gallery. Going in and having a, a virtual squad with you to help you clean out the monsters, things you, you save, scientists to help you work equipment. Um, finally, it's not just you alone in the game, it's you with lots of other characters um, interacting in a, you know, almost little virtual movie.